I'm working on this 1961 wheel horse model 401 in the last video I cleaned the carburetor so that's working better One of the last things I'm going to do to this tractor is change the inner tube in this front tire. The valve stem's corroded shut, like maybe it had some calcium chloride in it at one time. So I need to change that. These are held on with a snap ring. And there should be at least one good thrust washer under the snap ring. Check for any thrust washers on the back. I don't think I ever got the cap off of this. I'm going to try it again. Actually, the middle part of the valve stem is turning. Okay, I'm going to force it and see what gives. I'm going to move out to the driveway in case there's still some calcium chloride in there. Well, that part busted off, but it's still sealed, so that thing's clogged down in there. There's the other part of the valve stem. Now there's a hole there, so we know there's no pressure in the tire. I'm going to use two big screwdrivers and get the bead separated from the rim. That wasn't too bad. It came right off of there. Let's try the other side. That wasn't too bad. I've seen a lot worse. I'm going to need access to get the valve stem out of the rim, so I'm going to take the tire off the back side. I got some old dishwashing soap. I'm going to use that for lubrication. When you're trying to pull the top side over the rim, it's critical to have the bottom side pushed down into the middle of the rim. That's why I'm using my knees to hold the tire down. Once I get the tire pulled over the rim with one pry bar, I use the other pry bar next to it. Then I rotate the tire, pull the first pry bar, and move to the other side of the second pry bar. Keep doing that, moving the same direction around the rim. Remember the back side of the tire has to be held down in the center of the rim with your knees while this is going on.
once you get past halfway it should release the valve stems ripped out of the tube and that's a piece of metal holding the valve stem to the rim so I'm gonna have to cut that with the grinder wheel okay I'll get this tube out of the way The tube is stuck to the inside of the tire. It's because this tire has a patch on the sidewall and that got fused onto the tube. Well, at least that's a good repair on the sidewall, and it's all still intact. Okay, I'm going to get the tire the rest of the way off the rim. tires not damaged so that's good now I need to cut this valve stem out of here I have the valve stem clamped in some vice grips I have the vice grips C clamped to the rim and I have the rim clamped in the vice and all that's going to hold the valve stem in place while I cut the end off That worked pretty well. There's some rust bubbling up around the hole there. I gotta chip some of that off and try to stabilize the area. This type of rust is caused by the calcium chloride that was in the inner tube. It was used to add weight to the tires and hold the front end down. That was done on all the early wheel horses with the engine in the middle of the frame. If there's a bump, bubble, or raised spot, I hammer on it with this slag hammer until it breaks out and becomes a rust hole or divot or low spot. If you leave any bumps there, the calcium chloride under it will keep going. If I was going to paint this, I'd sandblast it until I see the bottom of every little rust hole, or else the calcium chloride will continue rusting and bubble up under your new paint. This is the outside of the rim with the valve stem hole and the inside of the rim has the longer hub where the bearing mounts. I'm going to mount this tire from the inside of the rim. If you leave scratches, it's better to leave them on the inside. So the outside of the tire has to go over the inside of the rim. When I'm starting out, I don't put the tire over the rim 
I put the rim inside of the tire. First I used some old dishwashing soap for lubrication. I start the rim towards the middle of the tire and use a scooping motion to get the leading edge of the rim wedged in there. Then use a big screwdriver to hook the tire over the rim. This is a used inner tube. I blow them up and put them on the shelf to see if they're going to hold air. I don't recall when I put this one up there, but it's still holding air, so I'm going to use it. Orient the tube so the valve stems towards the outside where the valve stem hole is. I put the tube inside the tire, then wedge the tube over the edge of the rim. Now I rotate the rim so the stem lines up with the hole. I want the valve stem in the hole down and away from me so they don't interfere with the tire going into the middle of the rim when I put my knees on it. Now I gotta fish that valve stem out of there. These needle nose pliers might work. That feels like too much air. Got the tire seated on the rim though. It's still around seven pounds. I want it around five.
I'm gonna put some grease on the spindle here. Always use a hardened washer under the snap ring. And that looks like it. One last thing. I have an old used valve stem cap I can put on there. That looks good. Here's what it looks like out in the grass. It looks just as cool as it did before. But now I know the front tire's not low. And I can add air anytime I want to. So that's as far as I wanted to go this time. And here's what it looks like. Alright, that's it.